fabric paints and it's just like mixing water with oil. No, <laughs> not a t-shirt. The less paint, the better. Hello my friends and welcome to Art Fashion channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And in this video I'm gonna react to popular art YouTubers painting their clothes for the first time. Why I decided to make this video? Because I'm sure most of you who recently subscribed to my channel and most of you who are new here, most of you have never heard about painting on clothes art. That this art exists with its own techniques and styles and paints and brushes with all these artistic stuff. And uh, like any artist knows that you can't paint with oil paints without thinner and you can't paint with watercolor paints without water. But if you ask any artist how to paint with fabric paints on clothes, uh, you will get an answer. Fabric paints? I'm not sure. <laughs> this art is not well known kind of art. Many people do not know about its existence. And if you watched a couple of TikTok videos where people paint their clothes and you decide to paint your clothes too. And if you didn't search for information, how to paint on clothes, which paints to choose and so on, uh, you will make a lot of mistakes in the process. So I thought that if I react to videos where people paint their clothes for the first time, this video will be very helpful because you will be able to see uh, most common mistakes beginners make uh, when they paint their clothes for the first time and seeing those mistakes you will understand better what you should do and what you shouldn't do. Uh, there are not so many uh, videos out there of people painting their clothes uh, but I was lucky and I found two popular art youtubers who painted their clothes and I watched their videos and they made a lot of mistakes so I want to talk about those mistakes in this video. Let's get started! So I'm gonna react to videos of two popular YouTubers, Chloe Rose Art and Mariah Elizabeth. And let's start with Chloe. After making this video, I realized that I pronounced your name wrong. It's a Chloe, not Chloe. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Chloe is an art YouTuber with more than 600,000 subscribers. And she makes all kind of fun, entertaining, uh, art related stuff on her channel. And five months ago, she released a video where she paints her denim jacket. I cut uh, her video into pieces, into parts, parts where she made the mistakes and parts which we need to discuss. And let's see what I've got here. So here she shows her denim jacket, which she will customize. It's a very interesting denim jacket and Chloe is a Disney fan and she wants to create a Disney inspired design on her denim jacket. There's some green, there's some green. That's green. Got a bit of blue. Okay, so I did actually buy fabric paint for this, but it's not all that pigmented. So I want to use my Liquitex paint instead. Uh, uh, it's a first mistake. Uh, she shows that she's going to use acrylic paints for painting. And she says that she bought fabric paints, but that fabric paints are not pigmented enough. So she decided to use acrylics. Well, uh, probably Chloe bought a very bad quality fabric paints and she didn't make a research before buying fabric paints because there are a lot of amazing brands which produce very good quality fabric paints. So yeah, you should make a research before buying fabric paints, which fabric paints you should buy. I mean, I'm not ever going to wash this anyway, so it's fine. So the reason I chose to go with acrylic paint for this jacket is I realised that I'm always getting acrylic paint on my normal clothes when I'm not supposed to, and it never bloody comes out. I wash it 60 times and it's still on there, so I figured this should work the same. Yeah, that's true. Like, acrylics will not wash off, but that is not the issue. When you accidentally paint your clothes, uh, you make mostly just one brush stroke, just one stain and just a small amount of paint on your clothes. Uh, but when you paint clothes, you use a lot of paint, you create layers. So as acrylic paints are not flexible enough and not soft enough, you will get cracks and you will get stiffness. Uh, and the best solution for Chloe, as she's an artist who uses mostly acrylics, and I'm sure she has a lot of acrylic paints in her home, so the best solution for her would be to buy fabric medium and mix her acrylic paints with fabric medium, and then her acrylics would become... Uh, 
suitable for painting on clothes. Um, yeah, it was a bad idea to use only acrylic paint. And also she says that she won't wash it anyway, but it's a wrong approach to painting on clothes. Like you can wash clothes you painted. You can even paint on a t-shirt which you need to wash more often than denim jackets, for example. And you can wash your t-shirts as many times as printed t-shirts. <laughs> but you need to use, of course, right paints. Fabric paints or acrylic paints mixed with fabric medium. Add a little red strip at the bottom here. I feel like we're gonna need like 60 layers of this. It just soaks into the fabric. Uh, here is one more mistake. She tries to create such bright color stripe on a dark denim jacket. Uh, and she says that it's so hard that paint soaks into the fabric and she probably will have to apply 60 layers of paint. Uh, well, that is the reason why you need to create base layer, white base layer when you paint on dark clothes. Uh, Create base layer and then let it dry. And then this white base layer will prevent paint from soaking into the fabric and it will be much easier for you to paint. And also you'll have to apply like two, maximum three layers of paint to create very, very bright red color. And the less paint you use, the softer your artwork will be. So win-win. <laughs> yeah, definitely. When you paint on dark clothes, you need to create white base layer and let it dry. Uh, one more mistake. Uh, she tries to create a clean ornament on a red background but she makes it on a wet background she didn't wait until this red background gets dry so it's hard for her to create you know clean ornament clean lines and it's not just about painting on clothes it's just like painting on canvas like you can't create like graphic elements clean lines and shapes on a wet background you need to wait until the background gets dry and if you don't want to wait you can use hair dryer to dry it that's easy <laughs> I think I'm done with this one. If he was on a canvas, I would spend a few more hours on it to like neaten certain parts and fix certain parts. But because it is on a denim jacket, I've never actually seen a denim jacket before with like a perfect illustration on it that's painted perfectly. Because at the end of the day, it is a denim jacket. It's interesting actually. She says that she don't want to spend uh, much time on, you know, making it perfect because it's a denim jacket and she have never seen uh, denim jackets with the perfect illustrations on them. So since she haven't seen such jackets, probably you haven't seen such jackets, let me show you such jackets. Uh, jackets made by one of my favorite artists, Clothes Customizer. She makes fan art on clothes. And just look at how perfect her illustrations on denim jackets, how detailed they are. Because like there is no difference in painting on canvas and painting on denim jackets. You can create the same level of artwork, the same details you can make. Of course, you can make sketchy design if you want to, but if you want to create very detailed and perfect illustration, you can. Like just because it's denim jacket, it's not the reason to you know stop yourself from making it perfect. <laughs> And here she shows the final result and ornament looks clean by the way she fixed it. Uh, well, I want to talk about design. I understand that Chloe didn't try to create anything complicated and serious. She painted her jacket just for fun, to make a fun video on her YouTube channel. I understand that. But since we talk about her video, I want to talk about design as well. And actually, I don't see design here. She just painted something small here, something small there, here and there. Uh, well, all the images are Disney characters, but they are disconnected. There is no connection between them and design doesn't look complete. And for design to look complete, all the images on the denim jacket uh, should be connected with each other in some way. You can connect them with one uh, idea with composition, with style, technique or color scheme. Um, here's a couple of my ideas. 
for example, Chloe could paint Disney castle uh, on the back of her denim jacket. And I know that she has a video on her YouTube channel where she painted a Disney castle on her wall. So she could paint it on the back of her denim jacket. Uh, then she could add an uh, inspirational quote. Uh, my favorite quote by Walt Disney is, if you can dream it, you can do it. Uh, and then jacket would become so inspirational and she would love to wear it. And then the rest of the jacket uh, she could cover with Disney characters. And then all the characters would be connected with one composition and idea. That there is a big castle and all the characters around it. Or she could paint a lot of Disney characters on her denim jacket. And then she could add uh, some graffiti elements. Some bright strokes, paint splatters, writings, spray paint. And then all the characters would be connected with one uh, style, graffiti style. Well, I don't want to say that this is a bad result and bad jacket. It's a great result and great jacket for the beginner. Uh, so I hope that Chloe will enjoy wearing her custom hand-painted unique jacket. Okay, let's move to the next video and next art YouTuber, very, very popular art YouTuber, uh, Mariah Elizabeth. Mariah Elizabeth. I don't know how to pronounce her name right. Uh, she has more than 6 million subscribers on her channel. And uh, mostly she makes squishy makeovers videos, but also she makes all kind of fun, entertaining, art-related stuff on her channel. And I'm going to react to the video where she paints her whole outfit. And I was very excited when I saw the title of the video because I also have videos on my channel where I customize my whole outfits. So she painted her whole outfit and uh, she also made a lot of mistakes. And let's see her mistakes. <laughs> So she starts with painting her shoes and I want to skip uh, this part because I'm not a shoes customizer. I don't like, well, I painted on shoes uh, a couple of times, but I don't like to paint on shoes because, uh, you know, there's not enough space for me. <laughs> uh, I need such big spaces to create complicated, interesting artworks and shoes is just, a, they're so small. So yeah, let's skip uh, this part. And then she takes shorts. She uh, is going to paint shorts and it's not a denim shorts. Uh, it's kind of a cotton, some kind of a cotton shorts. I'll take that out of context. And I'm using the same paint as I did on my shoes. Let's start. She says that she's gonna use uh, the same paints which she used to paint shoes. And uh, for painting shoes, she used Angela's acrylic leather paints which are not suitable for painting on clothes. <laughs> and how I know that? Angela's brand also produces fabric medium, which you can use to turn acrylic paint into a fabric paint. Uh, so yeah, she chose the wrong paints for painting her shirts. And here she tried to paint directly with colors on black fabric, and she understands it's a bad, bad idea. I realize now that using pastel paint over black fabric, yeah, no, no. I'm gonna need to do a white base coat first. It's much easier to paint a coat of white instead of doing a million coats of each color. I'm using the leather paint. It's quite thin, so I'm gonna paint this side with my white fabric paint, and we'll see who has better coverage. And here you can see two mistakes. One part, one side, one pocket, she painted with uh, acrylic leather paint of Brent Angeles, which was a wrong choice. <laughs> and the other part, the other side, the other pocket, she painted with fabric paint. But look how crispy white this base layer which she created with fabric paint. And she definitely used too much paint for base layer. As, as I said, the less paint you use, the better. And for base layer, the same rule. The less paint, the better. Here I will show uh, how I created a base layer on a black color denim jacket. You see, I put a bit paint and I blend it out. I put a bit paint and I blend it out. And in the result, I have such a light gray base layer, which is enough, like it's enough for base layer. And you can create very, very bright artworks on such light gray base layer. So yeah, she used wrong technique. Like she used too much paint on the one side and on the other side she used the wrong paints. Better coverage. And here she makes one more mistake. 
she puts on top of uh, Angela's leather paint one more layer of fabric paint which wasn't necessary because as I said such light grey uh, base layer is enough but also it's a wrong thing to do to mix uh, paints not even of different brands but different kinds paints of different kinds she mixed leather paint with uh, fabric paint and it's just like mixing water with oil oil will not, will not connect with water and will stay on the surface uh, so if you want to mix paints of different kinds or fabric paints for example of different brands first you should try uh, to mix them on some small piece of fabric and wash this small piece of fabric and see will you have any problems because uh, if uh, paints of different brands didn't work as a team didn't connect with each other uh, paint will start to peel off yeah so it's a wrong thing to do to mix paints of different brands or paints of different kinds inch of each article of clothing. I'm just painting the pockets on these and that will be it because I think it would make the clothing too stiff. You want to leave, you know, some fabric clear of paint so that it's still fabric and not just like a solid sheet of paint, <laughs> except for the shoes because, you know, shoes are- She says that she didn't want to paint other parts of her shirts, but just pockets because she afraid that it wouldn't be comfortable to, for her to wear such shirts. Uh, such stiff shirts <laughs> but actually like if you choose right paint and right technique you can cover your shirts completely with paint and it will be very comfortable for you to wear them uh, yeah she used too much paint and the wrong paint and here she shows the result and you know I don't have to touch these pockets to understand and see that they are so stiff like design is fun and I love it, but there's a big chance that uh, the artwork will crack after a couple of washings because she used wrong paints and wrong technique. And then she takes a t-shirt and when she opened up uh, the same palette with Angela's leather paints, I was like, no, <laughs> not a t-shirt <laughs> because t-shirt like it's so close to the body and you need the comfort when you're wearing a t-shirt and you won't have such comfort when your artwork is stiff because you used wrong paints intricate design but I realized that the shirt is actually going to be the most difficult to paint on because the material is so thin the brush is like getting really caught up on the fabric and the fabric is starting to wrinkle and making it more difficult and also the thinner the fabric the more the paint is going to affect the feel of it it's definitely going to stiffen if I ever paint a t-shirt again I'm hoping to find a brand that makes like a heavier shirt uh, yes, she's right. And you know, uh, when you want to paint on a t-shirt, I recommend you to buy a good quality t-shirt, uh, such a good quality thick cotton t-shirt. Uh, because you know, like uh, your artwork will survive many washings, but your t-shirt will not. And it will be very sad because making art on clothes takes a lot of time. So if your uh, t-shirt will be ruined just because of the quality of a t-shirt, yeah, it would be very sad. But if you couldn't find such good quality t-shirt and you have just thin fabric t-shirt, it's very important to choose the right paints. For example, Brand Pebeo produces paints for painting on light clothes, which don't have very good coverage, but you don't need very good coverage when you paint on light clothes. And uh, Pebeo fabric paints for painting on light clothes are very soft paints, so your artwork will be very soft. But if you couldn't find such paints, for example, and uh, if you want to avoid such stiffness on thin fabric, you can create artwork with watercolor technique. You can mix fabric paints with water and create such a very watercolor, very soft, very pastel artwork on your clothes. And then there won't be any stiffness it will be very comfortable to wear for you such t-shirt. Their basis, the painted area feels weird. Visually, I really- Yeah, she painted her t-shirt, but it's not comfortable to wear such t-shirt because again, she used the wrong paints for painting. And then she starts painting denim jacket. And she, she used three tubes of paint 
to create this black area on the back of her denim jacket and first I couldn't understand why does she even need such black area and then she painted planets and then she painted space well, look, uh, when you paint on clothes, uh, you need to have a plan. You need to think about what you can do, how you can paint, uh, to use as less paint as possible. Because the less paint you use, the softer your artwork will be. What is the right way uh, to make this design? First, you would paint the planets. Uh, she would use one layer of uh, white paint to create base layer. What she did, first she created black area, then she covered it up with planets and uh, she tried to create base layer for planets, uh, but because she didn't wait until this black area gets dry, her white color turned into a gray color and then she decided that planets are too gray and she put one more layer of white paint to create such crispy white base layer. And yeah, she could use just one layer of paint but she used three layers of paint and then between the planets she would paint space but again uh, using all these space colors she could put a bit black and blend it out a bit blue blend it out a bit purple blend it out and then her space would look much more beautiful artistically beautiful and she would spend three times less paint than she used here and then she starts customizing front side of her jacket. She painted whole sleeve. She painted uh, some parts of the jacket. Uh, she covered them with paint. And here is the result. Like, I don't know. She definitely tried to connect front side and back side with one color scheme. But I, I'm not sure that this is the best option of design for front side of the jacket that painting the whole sleeve and all these parts was necessary. Let me show you a jacket made by a professional clothes customizer with the painted sleeves. You see here sleeves play an important role in the design, they are the part of the design and they make jacket look so interesting and so creative. But here, I don't know like, what I would do, how I would customize front side of the jacket. I would add some writings or images, something to create an idea, something to create a story. Uh, here I will show you some images I found on Pinterest. Something like that I would paint on the front side of the jacket. Something to make this jacket creative, you know. And I would spend again less paint. <laughs> I should make the title of this video the less paint the better let's save the paint <laughs> uh, yeah uh, well what is my advice for all the beginners not only you should search for information how to paint on clothes which paints to use what is the right technique but also you should search for inspiration uh, you should search for other clothes customizers uh, you can search them on pinterest you can search them on instagram there are a lot of talented artists out there uh, because like you should understand the possibilities you have like how you can place your artwork which technique you can use what are the styles different styles which you can use when you paint on clothes uh, because if all you see is TikTok videos where pa people painted their pockets, it's not enough. Like you won't be able to create something interesting and creative and, you know, use your full potential if you didn't search for inspiration. Uh, I hope guys this video was useful <laughs> and if it was, please smash that like button to support my art, my channel and the future of painting on clothes art. And I hope to see you next time. Fashion is art. Bye bye.